Hi, this is David Cook, Brand Manager for Euclid Digital Helmet Communication Systems. As a follow-up to our great day out riding with Sedona Tires and Ibex Clutches yesterday, along with Dirt Toys Magazine, um, we're going to show you a short demonstration of another one of the key features of the Motion Series, which is the USAFE Crash Detection and Contact Alert System. So we're over here at uh, the Euclid headquarters inside Western Power Sports, and we'll go ahead and do this demonstration right now. So the, the idea here is to, you know, to understand again, we're looking at the, the Motion Series product, which would normally be in your helmet, along with the companion app for the Euclid, which is called ClearLink. In here you've got your manuals, you've got your support features, wireless firmware updates, but what we're mainly going to show you here is some of the configuration options in live. Um, things like adjustable noise cancellation, your graphic equalizer, your laser gesture sensor, all can be controlled from here. But what we're going to focus on is the USAFE Impact Detection System. This uses an advanced accelerometer to measure linear and direct helmet impact forces. So it knows when you've crashed, when you've got a real slobber knocker. This isn't just going to go off because you drop your helmet or you throw it in the back of your truck. This is going to go off when it, you've had a significant helmet impact. So in order to protect yourself with this and set it up, here's the basics and we'll do a fast demo here. So USAFE Impact Detection, when you want it on and, and protecting you, you're going to click ARM the very first time you use it or if you want to demonstrate it or test it you go into the USAFE and you're going to put in the rider's name phone number and email and then you can put up to three emergency contacts name phone number and email okay then you're going to register them they're all going to receive an email letting them know that they've been registered and that they're an emergency contact for you and then to make sure that everything's set up and working properly you can do a demonstration I don't have a special model you can do this with any uh, motion infinity unit so we clicked on test you safe and proceed. Now normally, just so you know, for this to set off, it takes a four to five foot helmet drop. But what we've just done is reprogram this through the Bluetooth 5 chip so it'll go off very easy for our test. So I'm just gonna Crash tap it on detected. the table. Crash message will send in 30 seconds. Press power button three times to disable emergency notification. Press power button three times to disable emergency notification. We're gonna let it go the full 30 seconds. Now this would Press be going off in your helmet and you would normally tap this power button three times to disable or if you're unable to Press do that then it'll send out the notifications. Notification. So what's going to happen is it's going to dial my primary emergency contact and it's also going to send out emails and texts. So as you can see the phone that I'm connected to is automatically dialing my primary emergency contact and if you watch the screen as it's ringing there comes the emergency information. So there's my emergency texts and the emails. If I answer this, I am now on the phone with the writer, okay? So when we look at the actual information that's coming in in real time, what you're seeing here, there's an email coming in, here's the text already in. This is saying writer information, David Cook, phone number, email, then we've got a GPS location link as well as a list of nearby hospitals. If I click on this, it's going to immediately go ahead and show us exactly where we are within five to 30 feet inside the Western Power Sports building. That is exactly where we're sitting, guys. Okay, now if I go back out and I wanna see a list of the nearby medical facilities and click the other link, there we are, there's our crash site. Here's a list of all the local medical facilities in the Boise area, as well as the distance to them, what kind of hospital it is. Okay, so those are the things that are coming in instantly um, at the end of the 30 second countdown. What we recommend is that you have a game plan with your emergency contacts so they understand that if they receive this message um, that they try to contact you immediately and if they're unable to contact you then they should be calling for uh, help. You can technically put in 911 or other civil emergency services into here. We simply cannot recommend that you do that uh, because some of the jurisdictions uh, have a rule that it has to be a live phone call only and they might fine you for sending it. Even though they'll come help you, they might fine you. Um, other jurisdictions are fine with it, so what we recommend is that if you're going to put uh, 911 in as one of your emergency contacts, that you first contact them and obtain permission. Otherwise, you know, what, what's going to happen is your emergency contacts will have that coordinated with you and uh, make sure that you get help right away. We've already helped several riders get help quickly. We're very proud of that. We love the fact that our slogan is communication, sound, and safety. We've got the great speakers and all that stuff, but when this product actually helps a downed rider get help quickly, that's what we're proud of at Euclid. So uh, is this 
part of when I buy a Euclear or is this an additional fee? How does that all work? That's an excellent question. So the way this works is on the Motion Infinity model specifically, USAFE is included in the price. Um, anytime that you use the USAFE, all of the texts and emails actually come from a separate database. So not only are you not paying a subscription for this, but you actually don't pay any text fees either. And it'll work anywhere in the world. So if you're on that uh, trip of the lifetime adventure ride down in, uh, I don't know, South America, and there's any cell phone reception of any kind down there, if it can ping the Euclear database, then these will go out. But there is no subscription. The downside to that, keep in mind that if you're in an area with absolutely zero cell phone coverage, if you've got no cell phone coverage, these messages can't, we can't get pinged at our database. And so in that situation, what the system would uh, do is it would be telling your intercom group crash detected so they would know to stop, go back and look for you. If you're in an area with absolutely no cell phone of any kind, no reception, one, we recommend that you don't write alone, and two, uh, we recommend maybe a subscription-based uh, device like a spot or something like that where you're paying the fee for the satellite access. So what is, if you were to boil it down to one thing, we told you you could only pick one advantage to this, what would you say it is? Well, that's, that's tough for me because I love so many things about it, but what really separates the Euclear more than the crash detection, more than the laser, um, is the fact that it's, it was, it's just so versatile. You can use this on any helmet you wear on your head, and with the weatherproofing um, and the adjustable noise cancellation, this is the system that you can wear on a bicycle helmet and have it work right. You can wear it skiing, have it work right. You can wear it on a Harley Davidson with a half helmet, have it work right. And so what really sets it apart is that we work well on the off-road, we work well on the street, and we work well in outdoor sports like mountain biking. That is a, a, a key to um, the value proposition of a nuclear unit over competing systems. Okay, so tell us uh, the website, how to get a hold of the information for it. Absolutely. Well, the first thing we like to say is visit your local power sports dealer or hop on to any of the online power sports dealers that, that sell our product. All of those pages are going to have the key details there. Um, we want to support our dealers. Um, but the Euclear website is www.euclearedigital.com. We also have several great videos on YouTube uh, and more coming out. We've got multiple new videos coming out, and we uh, post some fun pictures on our Instagram as well. So tell us one story from uh, a customer that, that has had to use this. Yeah. Of course, it's a feature you don't ever want to use, but... Yeah. It's a, it's a nice safety feature, but do you have one quick story you can tell us about someone that had to use it that demonstrates the ability of your system? Absolutely. Um, we always know uh, who's used it when. We have all the telemetry and data on that. Um, the one person that I'll share with you is named Lucas Nelson from North Carolina. Um, he was actually the first person to crash while wearing a USAFE and to get help because of it. Um, coincidentally, we also have permission to talk about it. I wouldn't share anyone else's uh, information uh, without. Uh, but Lucas Nelson uh, borrowed a Euclear unit uh, from a friend and went riding at the moto track and was jumping, you know, getting bigger and bigger air. He was jumping a triple. And to make a long story short, he scorpioned wrecked bad, he broke several, he broke vertebrae, broke ribs, broke clavicle, had a concussion. He hit his head so hard um, that the Euclear unit actually broke off the helmet and flew off. Um, but uh, the Bluetooth connection is good for 150 feet at least, and it still counted down and it still sent out the notifications. So although he was able to uh, be found quickly because there were other people riding at the track, uh, his girlfriend, mom, were receiving these notifications uh, and the GPS location immediately at the 30-second mark, and they were able to immediately contact the track staff. They were able to coordinate and be waiting at the hospital when he got there so he wasn't, you know, uh, alone with nobody there but some paramedics. Um, and he shared that story with us on his own volition. Um, while he was in the hospital, he recorded uh, some things for us on that and sent it to us and was just really, really grateful that that product existed. Um, and, uh, you know, his testimonial that he made is actually on YouTube. It's called um, uh, Lucas Nelson uh, Euclear Use Safe Testimonial. Anybody can look that up and see it, and that's something that he made for us. Um, and we felt like 
we should give him a free unit. So that's actually the only payment there was just saying, hey, he borrowed that unit, so we gave him a free one. So now he's got one of his own when he gets back on his feet riding again. And, and we understand that this is good for uh, winter sports as well. Absolutely. Uh, the temperature rating on these is set to be the widest temperature rating of any of these comm systems. Negative 20 to 130 degrees, you can ride with these in the North Pole, the equator. They are waterproof, dustproof. Um, when you get into sub-zero temperatures, the battery life can drop from the average of 18 hours to an average of more like 9 hours, 10 hours. Um, and people have reported, um, you know, getting 12 hours and more, you know, riding with them all day long. Um, and they do have quick charge capability through our USB-C cable. Um, so even if you kill one of these down to zero, you should be able to get it fully charged within about an hour and a half. Um, but generally, if it's at the 50% mark within 15 to 20 minutes, uh, you can have it recharged. So even in cold weather, people are getting great use out of these. They're adjusting the noise cancellation up for those louder machines, those snow bikes, those, those snowmobiles, and they're able to communicate hands-free um, you know, while they're out there riding.